It's starting to get cold in Western countries. Christmas lights are shining in the streets and 2024 is right around the corner. What a great opportunity for us to sit down and have a conversation about exciting things coming to WordPress in 2024. Let's dive in. First things first, if you're into WordPress because you run your business on WordPress or because perhaps you're a web developer or a designer, you may want to consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Here at Thrive Themes, we are friendly people that build software for WordPress and we like to talk about business and marketing. So yeah, if any of these things speak to you, be sure to subscribe. 2023 has been an amazing year for the no-code universe, which as time passes becomes more and more popular. Uh, but especially, it's been a great year for, for the WordPress space. Um, look, I love spending time online, keeping up with what the web development world is doing. I look at what companies are putting out there and where they are betting their resources on. And I think I can say that by far, WordPress has been the platform that has surprised me the most with the pace at which it's trying to innovate and stay trending. The biggest highlight of the year, in my opinion, is how far Gutenberg, the built-in block editor that WordPress comes with, has gone and how far it's traveled. It's getting more and more solid. And while some of you may be thinking, Tony, doesn't Gutenberg compete with Thrive Architect? Why are you praising it? Well, it's important. In fact, I think it's crucial that the native tools that WordPress comes with meet a certain degree of quality. I want, and I speak for all of us here at Thrive Themes, we want the WordPress ecosystem to continue to grow as much as possible. The stronger and the more richer features that WordPress by default has to offer, um, you know, the more people we're going to see picking WordPress as their online business platform of choice. And that's great. But yeah, Gutenberg is now capable of doing tree diagrams so that you can quickly organize your content sections. It comes with an enhanced command center you can add background images to your groups. You can even make text heavy vertical orientation, which I thought to be super slick. Some of these features you've already been using inside Thrive Architect for quite a while now, and some of them are really inspiring. But let's just quickly talk about what I think the foundation is going to be focusing next year. We are anticipating three major releases, WordPress 6.5 in March, 6.6 .6 in July, and 6.7 in November and they've already hinted about what they're planning on releasing in March. For WordPress 6.5, we should be looking at more collaborative features, which I don't actually know what this means yet. I would assume that they want to make blog post drafting easier to work on amongst different team members. This would be a great idea, in my opinion, at least. Um, here at Thrive Themes, for example, there are multiple people proofreading and updating blog posts, and it would be kind of cool to have a similar experience to that of Google Docs, where you can keep track of, you know, which team member has made which changes, but on WordPress. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just totally speculating because we don't actually know for sure. On December 11, there is going to be a state of the word event happening in Madrid, where Matt Willenbeck, the co-founder of WordPress, is probably going to reveal what these collaborative features look like. So yeah, I would keep an eye open for that. For WordPress 6.6 .6 and 6.7, we don't really know anything yet. I've heard rumors that one of these is probably going to be focused on translation and helping business owners translate their content in an easier way. I have absolutely no clue as to what this means exactly. Right now, there are quite a few different plugins that try to fill that missing gap for multilingual businesses. Um, but I'm not really sure what they have in mind. It could just be enhancing the performance of plugins like WPML, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised either if they come up with something cooler. Uh, so if your business operates in more than one language, you definitely want to keep an eye open for that. And aside from the collaborative features and translations, I'm pretty positive that one of these major releases is going to be exclusively dedicated uh, for performance uh, enhancements you know, trying to keep the Google algorithm happy with all of its ongoing changes, uh, but we're not sure if this is gonna happen in March or November. And like I said earlier, regardless of what ends up coming out next year, which could always be subject to change, WordPress putting out new features and making the platform more attractive is only gonna help all of us, you, us, uh, you know, companies building software on top of the platform attract even more customers and continue to grow furthermore. And you can rest assured that we have our own set of fun things that we're gonna be releasing next year as well. 
Let me know down in the comment section below if there's something about WordPress that you'd like the foundation to release. I've heard rumors of a big dashboard redesign being in the works as well. But yeah, I'm down ready to chit chat with all of you. Um, I appreciate your time and I will see you soon. Thank you so much.